In northern Manhattan, a job training program is preparing blue-collar construction workers for the green economy. As the city strives to be more environmentally conscious, some unemployed New Yorkers hope knowing how to build green will make them more marketable. As part of WFUV's Strike Accord campaign on the jobless, Abby Wendell reports. Noel Pacheco returned home to New York City after losing his job as a construction worker in Florida when the housing market there crashed. With two decades of experience, he was confident he would find work in his native city. Instead, he's been unemployed for two years. I've been having a hard time, I guess, the economy and, and, well, not having the networking necessary here in New York. So Pacheco signed up for Northern Manhattan Improvement Corporation's green job training program to build a new network. For three months, he's been learning how to reduce energy loss in buildings to save people money on their electricity bills. He hopes his new skills make him more marketable for the emerging green economy. I'm Abby Wendell, WFUV News. Tomorrow at this time, our Strike Accord series takes a look at how the Covenant House's culinary training program is shaping the life of one runaway youth. Learning how to cook can mean more than having a skill for a job. For some, it's a path out of homelessness. That's the case for Covenant House resident Dan Dufresne. He's one of 350 homeless children and young adults who call the shelter home, or at least a safe place to stay. As part of WFUV's Strike Accord campaign on the jobless, Abby Wendell reports. Dan Dufresne was studying biology at Montclair State University in New Jersey a little over a year ago. It was his first step towards his dream of becoming a heart surgeon. His path to achieving that dream got difficult one Sunday afternoon when his mom came home from church and kicked him out for being gay. At 20 years old, he was homeless, jobless, and no longer a college student. He made his way to New York City, where he eventually found shelter at Covenant House. I had everything handed to me in my life, so like I've never lived on my own, and you know, there's a lot of life lessons that you know that I'm learning now, and it's definitely putting me on the right path to becoming independent. Covenant House enrolled him in their culinary training program, where they pay him to learn how to cook and run a kitchen. He plans to use the money to get his own apartment and go back to college. I'm Abby Wendell, WFUV News. Tomorrow at this time, our Strike Accord series focuses on a program that helps dress unemployed people for success. Getting a job can take more than having the skills to do the job. It's also important to look and act professionally, but not everyone can afford professional clothes. To meet this need, the nonprofit organization Dress for Success gives free outfits to women to help them look their best. One Bronx resident got a suit from the organization to help her make a good first impression at interviews. As part of WFUV's Strike Accord campaign on the jobless, Abby Wendell reports. 32-year-old Christina Stephanie has been looking for work since Christmas. She's been submitting applications to work at restaurants and going to job fairs. She's even been on a few interviews, but with no luck. There's a lot of competition out there right now. Getting hired is especially competitive in the Bronx because the borough has the highest unemployment rate in the city. Stephanie says her resume is more important than her appearance, but she thinks employers will take her more seriously if she looks professional. Give me this job. I want this job. I'm ready, you know, so... I need that power suit for my interviews. After a while, Stephanie heads off with dress pants and a blazer. All she needs now is another interview. I'm Abby Wendell, WFUV News. Tomorrow at this time, our Strike Accord series takes a look at the challenges military veterans can face in finding work. A lot of people join the military thinking it will help them get a better job later in life. But that's not always how it turns out. As part of WFUV's Strike Accord campaign on the jobless, Abby Wendell reports. Isaiah Burnett wasn't looking for work while preparing to leave the military. Even though he only has a high school diploma, he figured his three years of service would help him find a job. I thought jobs would just pour, pour, pour at my feet, but it uh, wasn't like that. The skills he learned as a tank gunner don't transfer over to the civilian workforce. Here, he's only been hired to work at a seafood plant, as a stock boy for Best Buy, and as a summer camp counselor, all barely paying him enough to survive. Burnett knows going back to school or getting trained as a construction worker would help him earn higher wages, but as a single father, he can't afford to do that. If he doesn't find steady work soon, Burnett says he might re-enlist in the Army. I'm Abby Wendell, WFUV News. Our Strike Accord series continues tomorrow with non-traditional employment ideas for women within the construction industry and elsewhere. The construction industry offers two things that are important to Erica Santos, high wages and good benefits. As a young single mother, she needs to be able to support her family on her own. 
That and her love of a good challenge is why she wants to work in construction. As part of our Strike Accord campaign on the jobless, Abby Wendell reports. Single mother Erica Santos knows she won't make enough money working at a store to support her and her son. She needs a professional career. For a while, Santos was planning on taking out loans to attend college. That was until a friend told her about Non-Traditional Employment for Women, a nonprofit organization that introduces women to the construction trades for free. She signed up. When she finishes the six-week-long program, Santos plans to go into one of the more physically demanding trades, ironwork. I just don't want to do retail all my life, so I, I was like, I have to pick a career now. And since I started this program, I just decided the ironwork, that has to be for me. If Santos gets hired for an apprenticeship, her starting salary will be more than two times the minimum wage. I'm Abby Wendell, WFUV News. Our Strike Accord series on the jobless draws to a close tomorrow morning at 7.30 with a special edition of Cityscape with George Bodarki.